A few nights ago, after working one of those 16-hour days, I got home and found that I had received a delivery. It looked like just a box that was totally covered in bubble wrap. As I had several more hours to go just in report writing to finish up the day, I left it on the counter and thought I would get to it the next day. But the curiosity got to me. So I looked at the box, which was indeed totally covered in bubble wrap. And to my delight, I discovered it was something that I had ordered from Dublin, Ireland. Now, even though I was totally exhausted, the excitement got to me. Might be hard to tell in the video, but I was excited. And I started cutting through all of that bubble wrap. And once I got inside the box that had been covered in bubble wrap, what do you think I found? Well, you got it, I found more bubble wrap. Then I found another box inside the big box that had been covered in bubble wrap. And when I opened that box, well, I found more bubble wrap. Once I opened the beautiful little box, what do you think I found? I found a work of art. It was a Phoenix concertina made by McNeela Instruments in Dublin, Ireland. Now I must admit I am very musically challenged. And even though I was half dead from exhaustion after such a long day, and even though I think everyone in the household was probably by now sound asleep, I decided I would make a little noise. Well, I'm definitely musically challenged, and I will definitely have to get used to the new Jeffries layout and the dimensions of this new concertina as I was used to the layout of the Wheatstone and the old concertina, which was somewhat larger. Now, I have been called many things during my lifetime, especially being one who has chased criminals most of my life. But being called a musician has never actually been one of those things. Hopefully, since Mr. McNeela has thrown in some online concertina lessons, one day I might uh, change that and be called a musician, hopefully at least before I am 80, or maybe not. I would like to thank you, Mr. McNeela, and I would like to thank all of the McNeela Instrument family in Dublin, Ireland for making such a marvelous musical instrument. 
and then having the foresight to pack it so very well so that the instrument would survive safely all the way from Dublin, Ireland to my home here in Virginia, USA.